All righty. They got the starters plugged in on both. Chase Van Sant. The Trick Tools bike. Coming out of the left side. White Alligator Racing was a three-bike operation last week. It's a one-bike operation this week. And Chase qualified fourth. Got himself a pretty good hot rod. We got Hector Arana Jr. on the other side of the racetrack. Driving for Getrex. The big old Buell. Winner of this is going to run Gage Herrera in the semifinals. And I know that because I can see into the future. I'm clairvoyant. I can see into the future. The winner of this is going to run Gage Herrera. You want to know what else I can see into the future? At some point this evening after the race is over, I'm going to have a beer. That was a uh, poor placement of the water hose, I got to tell you. It was, it, was, it was funny for a second, but... Basically, the whole story in the motorcycle category this year has been, well, gauge against the world. And every time it looks like the world starts making a little progress, gauge goes out and distances himself from the rest of the group one more time. Slight advantage, Chase Van Zandt, but he's driving towards the center line. He's going to keep it over in the middle of his lane. He's going to turn on the wind light. 6.777 at 198. Hector goes 6.825 at 199. Chase 104.8 to the 60-foot timer. Looks like Tim Kalungian starting to get that part of it figured out. 